Hey there, thanks for watching. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how I decide whether to save or splurge on something and the three questions I ask myself to give myself clarity on whether an item's worth a save or a splurge. So if you're interested in hearing more about that and story on my hair, then just keep watching. Okay, so I got myself a new hairstyle and it was a bit of a splurge. And that inspired me to think about how I decide whether something's worth splurging over or if I should just take the budget friendly route and save. Three questions I ask myself to decide whether an item's worth splurging over or if I should save on the item, good or service. Here are those three questions. So question number one, do I have a comfortable emergency fund? Question number two, can I afford this splurge and still comfortably cover my monthly obligations? And question number three, will this splurge contribute to my overall happiness? Question number one, do I have a comfortable emergency fund? When it comes to financial independence and my goal to financial independence retire early, it is so important to have not only an emergency fund, but to also be saving a portion of your income that will get you to financial independence in the time frame that you desire. So when it comes to deciding to splurge or save on something, I also think in terms of time. Will this add more time to my FIRE timeline? And if yes, is that worth it for the happiness that this splurge brings me today? Question number two, can I comfortably afford this splurge within my monthly obligations? So this comes down to really knowing your monthly expenses every month and being aware of also what's coming in to cover those expenses. For this, I really try to stay tapped into my spending categories as well as the habits that I have on a daily basis. Am I on top of my habits enough to know what's going on and be able to not only budget for the splurge, but also be able to cover the rest of the month? So that's question number two. And then question number three, which I put all the way at the end, will this splurge contribute to my overall happiness? Is this something that I see every day or is this something that will just generally lift my moods and my spirits? And if the answer to those two things is yes, then this is a splurge that I'm going to consider. I'm also going to share with you three categories where I routinely save money and go for a very budget-friendly, very basic option and then three categories where I do like to splurge because I figured out that these categories are worth the splurge. So three areas where I routinely save money. Area number one is in meal prepping and cooking. I am a dedicated bargain shopper when it comes to grocery shopping and meal prepping and making sure that my groceries last for as at least as long as they need to last. Aldi and Lidl are pretty much the only places that I shop Sometimes I'll go to Walmart and sometimes I'll hit up our local shop, right? But primarily I aim for the lowest cost, highest quality item within reason. The bulk of my diet is fresh vegetables and fruit and then some meat and that's primarily what I eat. So I really look for ways to not only plan ahead to be able to purchase these items at a good deal, but also I will meal prep in order to make sure that these items last for as long as they need to last. So for me, meal prepping and grocery shopping and cooking is an easy place for me to go the budget route. It's something I enjoy and it's something that I can easily save money doing. Area number two, where I routinely go a more budget-friendly option is in the area of clothing. And when I mean budget friendly, when it comes to clothes, I don't mean fast fashion. I mean getting good quality basics and maybe one or two seasonal items at a really good price. And for this, I am a dedicated thrift shopper. This is what I do pretty much on the regular, on the weekends. And it's something I also enjoy doing. I love the thrill of the hunt and I love finding a great deal. I also am ruthless with myself in decluttering things that I no longer use from my closet so I can see what I actually have and be able to use it on a more regular basis. I'm also a big eBay seller. This is an area where I can release some items that I'm no longer using and bring in new items at a relatively low cost. So in the area of clothing, I for sure go the thrifty route. The third area where I routinely save money is in the area of cars and transportation. It just doesn't matter to me what I drive. As long as I get there safely and in one piece, it doesn't matter how I arrive. As you may know, I drive a 2004 Toyota Camry and I've driven that car for the past three years. I routinely drive late model cars with high mileage and I just maintain them very well. 
So when it comes to transportation, I certainly go the budget friendly route. And here are three areas where I routinely splurge. And I've asked myself those three questions and decided that it's totally worth it for the general uplift that it brings me to splurge on these three items. So the first item is in the area of hair care. And this is something that I can and have saved money on. I could cut my hair myself and I could dye my own hair with box dye from the drugstore. I've done both of those things myself. And I can tell you the amount of anguish that it causes to do both of those things is not worth the savings. So every once in a while, I go to the salon maybe once a year and I splurge and I treat myself usually around my birthday, which is coming up. So that's what I do. Second area where I splurge, and this just started, is in the area of house cleaning. Every two weeks I splurge and I engage a professional house cleaner to come to my home and clean it. This is something that I have really enjoyed and I find that it lifts my overall mood to have a clean space to come home to. It also allows me to take those two or three hours while she's here in the house and to leverage that time to other higher leverage activities for myself. So that's something that I've really enjoyed splurging on in order to help myself increase my income, which is something else that I'm working on. Item number three where I splurge, and this is very rare. This is something that I enjoy more appreciating than actually owning myself, but I am a huge handbag fan. My handbag collection is very small, but this is something that brings me great joy and great pleasure to look at. And again, maybe once a year, I will splurge. This is not a budget buster by any means. This is something that I calculate and save for. And a fourth category where I have also mentioned on this channel that I do tend to splurge a bit is in the area of going out to eat. Now, if you remember the video to the, that I did on eating out, do I need to stop eating out? Is it impossible to reach financial independence if I keep eating out? And I will link this video up here because it was really eye-opening to me to see exactly how much I spend by eating out, which is roughly 8% of my income. If I were to take that 8% of my income, throw that at my investments in order to reach financial independence earlier, it would get me to financial independence earlier, but only by about seven or eight months. So I am happy to take that perceived increase in savings and use that to enjoy time with family and friends by eating out. And I feel that way about the other items that I've decided to splurge on. These are things that truly bring me happiness and joy and I am sure to balance them out by a very careful and thoughtful analysis of my day-to-day -day spending, spending habits, as well as saving for the unexpected current items and my long-term financial independence savings. So there you go. Those are my thoughts on saving versus splurging, when you should save versus splurge, and the three questions I ask myself along with some examples. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you so much for watching. If you can, please like this video. It's a huge help to me and my channel. Let me know in the comments some things that you love to splurge on and things that you save on. Thanks again for watching and I hope you'll keep watching. Bye. This is before. The before and here's the after.